channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to make this uh, sweetheart neckline ruffle dress and for that i'll try to use about two yards of fabric or you can use like two and a half yards of fabric so the first thing you're going to do is we're going to start with the upper body and um for that what you have to do is to check your bust measurement add 12 inches to it so my bust measurement is 41 i'm going to add 12 inches to it the 12 inches i'm adding is for all the allowances i'm going to use for this top part so that's going to be 50 41 plus 12 that's going to be 53 so i'm going to um, measure out 53 inches of weight on this fabric now so guys this is the 53 inches here all the way to this end is 53 inches so i just folded into into two so this is about if you check here is a 26 point so like into to this 53 inches all the way around here so what i'm going to do now is to check that i just cut this here to mark where uh, the weight will stop so the next thing i'm going to check now is the the length so I want my top to start at 8 inches, right? From my shoulder, I want it to start at 8 inches down. If you want yours to start at 7, it's fine. But I want mine to be lower. So I want it to start at 8 inches. And then my shoulder to waist is about 17. So I'm going to add extra 1 inch to it. So that's going to be 18. So basically my top length is going to be from 8 inches to um, 18 inches. Actually, it's supposed to be from 8 inches to 17, but remember, you need 1 inch seam allowance. So that's why I have 8 inches to 18 inches. So I'm going to cut that out now. So guys, this is it here. I've cut out what I'm going to use for my top. So basically, my width is 53, which is basically my bust measurement 40, 41 plus extra 12 inches. That's how I got the 53. And then the width here is just measure from your shoulder to where you want your top to start above your bust so for me i want it to start at eight inches measurement but if you want yours higher not to show cleavage or anything then you might want to start from six from seven i sorry and then you you know that you from there you you're going to measure your shoulder to waist um so my shoulder to waist is 17 so i added extra one inch so my top is starting at eight so this is my shoulder here my top is starting at eight my shoulder my top is starting at eight and um, then my shoulder to waist is 17 extra one inch for seam allowance that's why i have 18 for the weight so the next thing we're going to do now is to split this into two right you folded it now you're going to flip it into two one is going to be my back panel one is going to be my front panel so what i'm going to do now is to fold it this way right i'm going to start shaping it now So to start shaping it, I folded it into two, like I cut it, folded each one into two, and, that, and now I have two pieces, back panel, front panel. So what I'm going to do now, after folding it like this, is to start shaping it. So I'm going to first, waist measurement divided, waist measurement plus 12 again, right? Your waist measurement plus 12. So this is going to be the lower part of my top. So the waist measurement I'm working with is 36 plus 12. That's going to be 48. You are going to now divide that 48 by 4. So you have... So, 40, so 48 divided by 12, that's going by 4. You're going to have 4 and 12. So I'm going to mark that here now. Mark the 12 inches here and just like connect it upwards to this angle here. So I'm going to trim this out. So now I've cut it out, I've shaped the waist part. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to um, open up the back. So take one out as my back panel. So I'm going to cut it out now. Open it. So this is going to be my back panel here. This one is going to be my back panel. Even your zip allowance is already there from the 12 inches that you added. So basically what I, how I dart the back of my top for me is just I fold it into two this way and just make it half an inch seam allowance, half an inch, sorry, half an inch stitch all the way up here and then fold it again, make half an inch seam, just, just make a stitch all the way up 
half an inch up here. So that's how I do my back panel. So I'm going to set this aside and then trace for my front panel. So this is the front one. What you're going to do now is to check your nipple to nipple measurement. That's your breast point distance. So for me, it's eight inches. So what you're going to do now is to fold this into two here. So what you're going to do now is take it, fold it this way. And then your nipple, so for me, nipple to nipple measurement is eight. So plus eight divided by two. So you divide your breast points by two. So for me, eight divided by two, then you add extra one inch for seam allowance to it. So that's five inches. So what I'm going to do now is to fold this in here and make sure that five inches fits all the way up here. Like this piece that I folded here, this piece here, that the width distance for me is five inches here. So I'm just going to do that now. So guys, what I'm going to do now, remember my top is going to start at 8 inches, but I added 1 inch extra for seam allowance. So now that 1 inch that I added is half an inch for the top, half an inch for the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is to place my tape at the 8 points, 8 points, like half an inch, adding the half an inch at the top here. So basically it's now at 7 points. Let's say this is my shoulder, right? This is my shoulder here. So now I've, and my top is supposed to start at 8 so I'm adding the half an inch that was that I added at the bottom when I was cutting it. I'm now taking it back up again. So now, basically, it's going to be at um, 7.5 here. But when I sew and remove the half an inch, my top starts back at 8 inches. So what I'm going to mark now is my, my shoulder to breast point, which is 12. And then my shoulder to under bust, which is um, 14. My shoulder to breast point is 12, shoulder to under bust is um, 14, shoulder to waist is 17 for me. So I've marked all of them now. So what I'm going to do now is on each line that I've made, I'm going to, from this line that I made here, I'm going to subtract half an inch here. Mark it. On this center line, the shoulder to under bust, I'm going to subtract 0.75 here. So that's um, 0.25 great, uh, more than the one. So here is half an inch. Here, half an inch here, 0.75. And then here, you're not going to um, subtract anything. So what you're going to do now is to mark from this line, join it down here, connect this line here. And then you take this one up here. Come up here, you're going to subtract about one inch on top here for the width here. And then you're going to connect these two lines. You see, so you're going to make sure this one joins here, this one joins here, and then this one goes down here. So now we've basically traced the, this part here. So I'm going to cut it out. So now I'm going to come to this folded part here. And what I'm going to do is come down by one inch because I want the V part here to be about going about nine inches deep, right? It depends on how you want yours to be. If you want yours like deeper than that, maybe 10 inches deep, it depends on you. So mine, I just want it just a little deep V, V here. So I'm just going to come down from to nine inches here. And then I'm going to give it like a mark, drawing your V, v neckline here. I'm going to cut this out now. So this is what it looks like, the center one here. If you want to make your V deeper, you can make that, make it that way. And then one on one side, one on one side. So you see what I'm going to do when I go to the sewing machine now is just to take one side here, place it this way, make a stitch all the way up here, place this one on this side, make a stitch all the way, join it together. But before that, I'm going to trace everything on a lining. So to have double of it, I'm going to trace it on the lining. So guys, I've, I traced the lining and I attached it to this. So basically you join the lining the same way you join the top and then you join everything here at this top part of it. So you join the lining the same way you join this top, the main pattern, and then you have to join the two of them, attach the two of them at the top part here. And also, as you can see, I, I also trimmed off um, from the armhole, like the way it is now. Let me show you guys. So see what I, I also trimmed off like one inch. I came down one inch, one inch from the end of the armhole here and then trimmed it in. So 
like see what it looks like here so that way i can get i can get that way i can get this curve on top here so guys i've gone ahead and attached the two sides to the um, side of this center part here so this is what it looks like i'm still going to put in my zip at the center back here so this is what it looks like right now and then um i'm still contemplating if i if i want to have the strap or if i want it as a tube top so but if i need to put the strap it's just to make a, a strap maybe about six, 17 inches long and just put it here tack it down on this uh, ends here so let's move over to the bottom part here so guys what, uh, this is going to be the skirt part of it the bottom part so what i did here is just to check the widest part of your lower body which is the hip so mine round my hip is about round my hip is about 48 inches so the 48 inches i divided it by four and then I got so added the extra one inch for my seam allowance. That's eleven. So I I I I cut out two pieces of fabric, about eleven inches wide. So that's what I have here. Two inches, two of this here. This is going to be my front panel. But the back panel, instead of using two inches, I added instead of adding one inch to the hip, I added two inches. So that's why one inch is going to be for my zip allowance at the center back here. So I'm going to place this here. So use the front one to trace the back one but when you're tracing it add one inch for your zip allowance so that's it so you're cutting this bottom like you're cutting a pencil skirt so the length i'm using here because my waist for the top part is going to stop at 17 remember so from 17 inches to about 35 inches is what i'm working with i added extra one inch making it 16 and um, 36 inches is where this body compact of it is going to end at 36 at 35 inches the extra one inch is for just half an inch for attaching the top part to the to the um to these bodies here and then the other half an inch is for attaching this um the ruffle part to the lower part of this here so guys the half an inch here the third, making it 38 right so remember this here is starting at eight inches we have extra half an inch at this 17. This half an inch is going to use, I'm going to join this half an inch with this one here. So I'm still at 17 if I add this, um, the half an inch from the skirt. So then I measured it down. I'll have 38, 36. One inch here is going to be my half an inch for this particular seam allowance for this skirt part of it here. So what I'm going to do now is my, come back to the waist. So remember, this is going to be my front panel. Come back to the waist here. My waist measurement is 36 divided by um, 4 is 9 plus extra 2 inches for the waist. So that's going to be 11 inches here. So I, I added extra 2 inches to this here. So the next thing I'm going to do is my waist to hip is about 8 inches down here. So eight inches down here so what i'm going to do is mark my hip measurement hip measurement is 48 divided by four is um 12 plus extra one is 13 which is the complete width of this um fabric here so what you're going to do is when you come down to this lower part that is going to be at your thigh you're going to subtract one inch from the end here so i'm going to subtract one inch from the end here on this hip line you're going to come down by one inch here like one inch here and then from this line here you're going to connect this to this here so you're going to connect these two together instead of connecting it directly from the hip come down one inch here and then connect the two together and then what you're going to do is from this point here you're going to also connect this one if you have your curve ruler that's better you can connect it this way so that's basically it for shaping the body of this so what you're going to do now is to mark your your dart so for me the dart i'm going to be using is um the same dart that i use for the top for the top of the dress which is five and um, four sorry um nipple to nipple measurement which is eight um divided by two four plus extra one five so i'm going to make it add it here and then come down this way mark a straight line down you're not you're going to stop two inches before the eight so that's about six inches is where my dart will stop so mark a line that down here and then you're going to mark it down so on this line you're going to have about you you're going to mark half an inch on this side half an inch on this side and then this is going to be your dart 
actually you're supposed to doing the bit you're supposed to be doing this on the wrong side of the fabric so that when you go to sew you won't confuse yourself so now i'm going to cut everything out so guys don't forget to transfer this dart on each of the sides so there's four folds to this here one two three four you're going to transfer this dart on four sides of the of this this pattern here so now i'm going to start cutting it out after tracing out everything now you're going to open up the allow the zip allowance at the back join the skirt part to this so now the third step is to join this um the flay at the bottom so what you have to do is to measure down this part here the, the end of your the skirt part like this end here measure it out whatever inches you have you might want to use about two times it for the length of your for the length of the ruffle at the end or you might want to if you want it bulk here you might want to use about two times um 2.5 times like two and a half of this length here so for me i'm using about two and a half of that so um what you're going to do next is the the width for me the width i want to use is about 6.5 so whatever width you're going to use, if you want it on your knee or just below your knee, 2.5, uh, um, you're going to add extra 1.5 inch to whatever you decide to use as your um, seam, as your ruffle. The 1.5 is your seam allowance, half an inch for attaching it to the end here, and then one inch is for folding the um, sub, this end here, the rough end here. So that's basically it. After that, you close up the back of the dress, you close up the back of the dress, and then you put in your zip so guys this is the strap i'll be using here is about 1.5 or 2 or 2 inches is what you would use it depends on how bold you want it to be and then you just fold it this way for your strap you wear it and then you find out where you just fix it in here at the dart part just stand in the mirror and find out where you will tack it down with a pin pin it at the back also and that will be it so i've added my zip and this is the bottom of the dress so thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye